Hello everyone, my name is Vic of EOS Marketplace and in this video I am going to share with you the latest news on PCN that today our preferred currency dot news. Okay, so without further ado, let's proceed to the topic. So this news is brought to you by preferred currency dot news. So this is the website where you subscribe for $15 a month or $180 a year where you get notified of the latest updates and not only that. You will also receive a spreadsheet where you can find the technical analysis on all of the coins, alright? So, I'm subscribed now. You can also subscribe using um, cryptocurrencies here or you can also use fiat by clicking PayPal, right? So, let's go to the um, news. So, here's the main story. So, Jihan Wu may still... 1 million Bitcoin Cash SV. So, Bitcoin's millionaire co founder Jihan Wu may sell over 1 million Bitcoin Cash SV or BCH SV. Following the successful completion of a scheduled Bitcoin Cash hard fork on November 15. So, he tweeted, I am wondering what I can, when can I deposit my BC, BSV token into exchange to sell? So a continuous hard fork of Bitcoin Cash was triggered by a camp led by Craig Wright, CoinGeek, and Calvin Iyer, which mined an invalid block almost immediately after the hard fork was completed by Bitcoin Cash ABC, the original blockchain of BCH. As of November 19, Bitcoin Cash ABC remains 42.7% ahead of BCH SV on proof of work and 9 blocks ahead. The majority of BCH blocks are being mined by Bitcoin.com, BTC.top, and via BTC without the intervention of Bitmain, so clean win for BCH. With major exchanges like Coinbase and Kraken in support of the original BCH roadmap set forth by BitcoinCash.org and the supposed stress test threatened by Craig Wright after the hard fork amounting to a non-event, BCH has secured a clean win over BCH SV in the hash power war. Prior to the fork, Craig Wright threatened to sue developers and miners in support of BCH and at one point claimed he will rearrange the blockchain of BCH to double spend transactions. So on Twitter, Wright said, um, If when the SV OP data sync verify hits the ABC fork of the chain, I will be releasing methods to basically kill the chain to the authorities. It adds criminality into the system. That is a tortuous act by the developers. I will help set up a class action suit. So I will ensure that any minor passing the SV can be held liable. Under the law of the UK, China and US, they can be. So the end will be a drop in value of those using the SV. And I will help ensure those who lose claim against this act. So ultimately, no developer or miner was sued. The hash war came to an end within 30 minutes in favor of BCH. And the stress test that threatened by CSW turned out to be a false. To be false, rather. The last resort of the SV camp to 51% attack. Um, the BCH network with overwhelming hash power was also stopped by the BCH community through the integration of checkpoints. On November 16, the BCH developer community integrated a checkpoint in every block mined after the hard fork to prevent blockchain reorganization as a response to the 51% attack threat by SV. So they said that a decisive opening battle has been won by the defenders of Bitcoin Cash and Craig Wright's war to hostile take over the chain. Yours.org developer Chris Pasha wrote, adding a checkpoint is, is a line added to the code that prevents the software from reorganizing the blockchain below the checkpoint in block. In the event that an attacker such as Craig Wright were to try to 51% attack and wipe out all the blocks and transactions, that happened on Bitcoin Cash over the past day, the software will not let him do it. So, but, but as BTC.TOPCO Jiang Zuer said, the SV camp was never going to win a hash power war. 
or BAL within Bitcoin Cash because Bitcoin had 20x a hash available throughout the entire period in its possession as backup to defend the BCH chain from being attacked. Okay, so where were we? Um, here. That is more than four times larger than the hash power coin gig on Calvin R possess. So it's BCH turns. BCH won the battle. But the conflict resulted in a negative outcome for both BCH and BCH SV. Roger Rare, the CEO of Bitcoin.com, recently stated No one wins a war, some just lose less than others. From the, this moment on, the faith of both BCH SV and BCH depends on the market. If large holders of BCH SV, who are ironically the supporters of BCH, continue to sell large amounts of BCH SV on the market, then the asset could suffer significantly in the short term. Okay, so that is the headlines of the news brought to you by Preferred Currency News. Okay, guys, so um, subscribe at Preferred Currency News so that you'll receive um, a new uh, updated news just like this one. So, um, also, if you want to join Initiative Q, you can use my. Um, link or my invitation link below at the description and if you want to earn um, or get rewarded in crypto by doing social blockchain surveys on a blockchain just download lumius.io or lumius the app in your favorite app store or in your google play store right so also if you're an eos holder you can visit eosmarket.biz so that you can uh, uh, know where to where you can spend your EOS, especially if you're a traveler or if you're using um, business class and first class in your flights. So there's a link here that'll um, that'll here it is that offers um, up to seventy percent discount on the um, tickets that they offer all right so there's also a marketplace here where you can buy and sell using eos or cryptocurrencies and the preferred currency dot news subscription website and of course pcn dot today okay so there are also other useful links here like this one so this one is a tool where you can monitor your EOS transactions um, the list of all the eos Upcoming and latest airdrops, the um, list of all the airdrops on all cryptocurrencies, and the list of all the EOS tabs, especially the newest ones. And also, if you want to earn crypto each month by um, by seven levels deep, join their affiliate program by clicking affiliate or this button here, or you can go directly to preferredcurrency.news and click affiliate here, right? Or upper right corner of the website, rather. Okay, so guys, before I go, I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor and everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto. So you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself. Alright, so again guys, this has been Vic bringing you the latest news on cryptocurrencies. Um, see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.